Hi everyone, welcome to yoga today. This is Lisa from Echo Yoga and today I'm outside in my back garden and we're going to do a lovely calming, relaxing yoga practice which you can do at any time of the day but this one is designed particularly to help you rest and get ready to have a really good sleep at night. So we're going to take things easy, calm things down and enjoy our yoga practice today. Remember, we adjust all our yoga poses to our bodies so the shapes that we make are the right shapes for us and we don't force our bodies into anything that is wrong or isn't right for our bodies. So let's start by closing our eyes and resting our hands on our knees and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose and out. In through the nose and then out through the mouth. Slow breaths, gentle breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then I want you to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy. It doesn't matter which one. You can keep your eyes closed as you're breathing in. And as you breathe out, notice how the body moves and how this changes. As you breathe in, your chest lifts, you become taller. And as you breathe out, your chest comes back down and it's as if your shoulders drop and you relax. As breathing in, we tend to lift our chest up. And as we breathe out, we tend to relax it back down. And we'll do that once more. Breathing in and breathing out. And then rest the hands on the knees and open your eyes. And today I've got what we call a sensory jar. And you may have seen these filled with glitter of all sorts. Often they can light up, but they're really good at watching the glitter in the jar all move and settle. And it's quite calming to sit there and just watch this. In my jar, I've got some stars and some moons to help with relaxation. And you can make one of these by yourself with a carer or a family member at home. You can check out on the internet for these glitter jars and they will be something that are, are lovely to make and also something that you can help relax at home. Just sit there, give it a shake and just watch the glitters just fall down. I'll put that by the side so that you can see that as we go through the class today. I'll put it there on the, on the blanket. So first of all, we're going to start off by sitting in our cross legs. This is what we call our easy pose and settling the body in. And we're going to stretch our backs a little bit. So we're going to breathe in, lift our chest up and lean forward and rest our hands in front of us. I want you to carry on breathing. These are all calming movements today. No big movements, all calming and gentle movements here. And inhale and bring those arms back up. Well done. And we'll bring our legs a little bit further forward. So we'll come into our butterfly pose and cross those legs. Bring your feet together in front of you and adjust your bottom. Now you can either sit here or you can lean forward, put your hands on your toes 
Breathing in, having to breathe in out, continuing to move forward. So we're not making movement with the butterfly wings today. We're holding the pose still because we're going to be relaxing. So we're letting our breath do the work. So we're breathing in and we're breathing out. Slowly come and sit up and come onto our hands and knees. So slowly move onto your side. Come onto those hands and knees. And we're going to move our back into cat and cow. So as we breathe in, lift our bellies and look up. And as we're breathing out, we push that back up like a frightened cat. And again, breathing in, dipping those bellies, looking up. And breathing out, pushing that back up. Well done, everyone. All stretching those backs. And again, breathing in, dipping the belly. Looking up and breathing out and pushing back. Well done. And then bring that back into a flat position. So you are like a table, that back is all flat like a table. And we're going to move into child's pose. So I want you to keep your toes together, but take your knees wide. So if you're on a mat, the knees are um, as wide as the mat. If not, you want them a little bit wider than your hips. And we're going to sit on our heels and stretch our arms out in front of us. And this is child's pose. So I want you to take some breaths in and out. And you can feel the stretch in the shoulders, the back. And in the hips. Lovely. Gentle breaths. Holding the pose. And then breathing in, I want you to lift your head up. Bring your hands up and come onto your, your hands and knees a minute. Because we're going to stretch our shoulders a little bit and I know that, that you've all done this before this is called threading the needle so we're going to lean forward back into child's pose and we're going to take our left hand and thread it under the right so we're going to be looking out under that right armpit so we're stretching our shoulders doesn't matter how far you can go or if you have to straighten your hand like this rather than having the arm stretched out that's fine so you can all see my face that's good let's stretch that arm out lovely and breathe in bring that left arm back oh we've got go to swap over so you're not going to see my face now okay you're going to see the other side. So I'm going to take this hand, the right hand, and this time that one's going to go under. So you're going to see my left hand is stretched out, but you can bend it if you need to. It's up to you where you want that hand. Bring that left hand in, and come back. Well done. Fantastic, everyone. So we're going to come onto our tummies and we're gonna stretch the back the other way this time into cobra pose. So leaning or lying on the floor, on your mat. Oh, I know I've got a leaf in my face, but that's okay. We're going to be lying flat on the floor, first of all, hands by our shoulders. Let's breathe in, gently lift our chest up. So this is cobra pose. 
So gently lifting, but looking directly in front of us. And just hold it there. Then come back down. We'll do that one again. So breathing in, pushing up with those arms, just a little, gently we go. And then breathing out, back down. One more time. Breathing in, lifting up. Well done, everyone. And then breathing out, back down. Lovely. Put your hands in front of you under your forehead. So under your head. I want you to rest your head, rest your head on your hands. Take a breath in and out. Bit of breath in and out. So we're relaxing the back of the body. Breathing in. Now breathing out. Well done. And we're going to move into our forward fold. So coming up out of this position. So bring your left arm round, come onto your side onto your bottom and come and sit up. Well done. So when you're in that lovely seated position, I want you to make sure you've got your bottoms square. And if you need to, bend your knees, okay? So bend those knees. So you're breathing in, lifting up, breathing out and leaning forward. Sit and touch those toes if you can. Touch those toes. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then let go of those toes. Slowly, slowly breathe in, lift your chest up, roll those shoulders back down. Oh. And again, if you want, roll them back down your back. Gentle rolls, these are. And again, gentle rolls. And straighten those legs out, give them a shake. Now, I've got one of my favourite relaxing poses to finish off with, and I'm going to use my chair. So I'll move my, my little glow and I'm going to bring my chair around. So you have a chair at home or a sofa if you're on the floor in the living room or a chair in the living room. We're going to use this to put our legs on. Okay, so I lift those legs up, move our bottom in a little bit closer and then lie back down. Okay. So this is called legs up the wall, or our version is legs on the chair. We have done legs up, up the wall in class, but this one is sometimes a little bit easier, and it's very good to relax the back muscles. So when you're in this position, I want you to close your eyes, And breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So I want you to relax and breathe in and breathe out. Gentle breaths. And notice how the bottom of your back relaxes a little bit. There's no stress on the back, or on your spine, on your backbone. You can just relax. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Your hips. And your legs, because they're all, they're all supported wherever they are. And then from here, 
going to come off the chair. The easiest way to take your legs off the chair is to bend them towards you. So your knees are coming in towards your tummy and throw then onto your side to come and sit back up. Okay, Oops. sit back up wherever you are. Lovely. Cross your legs and get yourselves comfortable. Well done, everyone. So before we finish, we come into relaxation. Let's do some work on our neck to help relax us. Let's move our head from side to side. Okay. Back to the middle. So all gentle, slow movements. Well done, and then back to the middle. Okay. So get yourselves comfortable. Come and lie on the floor and we'll come into our relaxation. So if you've got a blanket, wrap yourself up in a blanket or an eye pillow, use the eye pillow. And I'll get ourselves ready for our relaxation. So I'll get our, our bells ready as well. Okay. So now that you're comfortable and in relaxation, I want you to close your eyes, big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I want you to notice how your body moves as you breathe in and out and particularly as you relax, as it moves, as you're breathing out. I want you to notice if you can hear any sounds where you are. Maybe you can hear some traffic, some birds in the garden, aeroplanes in the sky, children playing. Or maybe the breeze and the wind as it blows through the trees. To listen to the sounds you can hear. And then bring your attention. Think about then the noises that maybe you can hear in the room where you're lying. Maybe you can hear the clock ticking person with you breathing in and out as they relax as well. It's time to forget everything else and not worry about anything else that's going on. To focus on you and relaxing. Breathing in and breathing out. And I want you to think about maybe what you can see from your garden. So if you were sitting in your garden at the moment or on a balcony, or if you were looking through your window, what could you see? And think of that view. Can you see the mountains? Maybe a park or a beach? Maybe a forest? Some grass? Maybe somebody's allotment where they're growing lots of fruits and vegetables. Just think about what you can see and what makes you happy when you see it. And think about how lovely that view looks on a bright sunny day. When the sun is right in the sky and everything's warm and sunny and calm. And think about maybe how different that is, where maybe it's cold, there's no sun, it's been a bit frosty, but still how beautiful it looks. It's just different. As the seasons change, the gardens, the view that you see changes. So spring, summer, autumn and winter all bring us a different view. Think about that and think about which one's your favourite. And 
relaxing the body through our toes, the tops of our head. Our toes, the bottom of our feet, our heels and our ankles are all relaxed. The lower legs, knees and the tops of our legs are all relaxed. The hips, tummy and our chest are all relaxed. Our shoulders, arms, hands and fingers are all relaxed. The muscles in our neck and in our face are all relaxed. Our eyes, ears, nose, cheeks and our lips are all relaxed. The top of our head, the back of our head, and the back of our body are relaxed. The whole of the body is relaxed. I leave you to listen and relax a little longer and enjoy the silence. Okay everyone, time to wake up, new relaxation. Take a big breath in and wriggle your fingers and your toes as you bring some movement back into your body. Start to waken up. Big breath in if you want, stretch your arms. And breathing out. Bring those hands back down the side of your body. And when you're ready, come and roll onto the side and sit wherever you are in a seated position. Well done, everyone. That's a great class. Now, if you want the class to, to not hear the bells, if there's a, somebody at home with you, you can stop the recording before we wake up so that you can carry on sleeping and relaxing and wake up naturally. But if you want to wake up with us, you can obviously let the recording continue that little bit longer. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you enjoyed that class and namaste.